when <laughs> we went to that Super Bowl um, um, little get together that time, yeah. you and Chiz, Chiz has got those camel crushes. Woody, this is a cigarette that tastes normal, but inside the butt, you know, the part in your mouth, yeah, the filter, the there's a little capsule and you can nibble it with your front teeth or you can pinch it with your fingers hard mm -hmm. enough and you'll hear it crush. It'll go and it releases that menthol minty flavor very in a very potent way that you wouldn't be able to get if you just stored it in a pack. It's like instantly, oh, that feels cool. It's almost like uh, like um, like mentholated vapors or, or mm -hmm. whatever that, like that, that shit you put on your chest. It's got this sort of clean, refreshing sort of thing instead of that. It's. I know when you secondhand smoke, when you get exposed to that, it's this dirty, nasty thing. So is marijuana. It's it's much. It's a dirtier smell. But mm. I don't know that, that those things tasted fucking good. Every time I hang out with Chiz, I have to smoke those fucking things. I've oh, yeah. um, I've gone. He's a he's a cigarette uh, king. Yeah, he when, when I was in my like weed smoking days, because like in in Australia, when you smoke weed, like what a lot of people do is they'll take the weed and then they'll put like um tobacco in it as well. We call yeah. it spin, and so we. Which is a little spliff. Uh, now, now I've smoked for a long time. I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. But like when I was younger, it's like you make the weed last longer because we're fucking poor. You yeah, know? our cigarettes mm. are so expensive here; they cost more than fucking weed. But anyway, um, <laughs> my Fuck. one of my friends, he he pulls out this uh, he, he pulls out these fucking crusher things that you're just talking about. Yeah, and he's in his mind, he's like, okay, we're gonna fucking we're gonna put the tobacco in. We're going to spin that up and then I'm going to make this fucking weed menthol flavored. So he sits there and he oh. pulls out of the cigarette butts, these little fucking plastic things, and then just throws them into the coffee grinder with the weed and just oh. buzz it up. And he's just sitting there just smoking plastic. I'm like, Man, <laughs> he was so, weird. dude, he was so, he was so close. He was, was so, so close. close. All you got to do, uh, you take the, so you can take a cigarette and uh, gently the, the white paper between your fingers. And you do this, you back and forth like you're making a fake. Oh little, yeah, no, uh, I've done that a million times. Yeah. And, 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 and very quickly, all the tobacco will get loose, will be, get unpacked, and just fall out until you've got this hollow cylinder of paper that you could have never made yourself. And then you can very carefully fill that with marijuana. And yeah. now you got your Camel Crush flavored little joint. Uh, That's yeah, smoking nice cigarettes what, in my house. Yeah. Well, you always if I was gonna like go out like, and and yeah, I wanted a joint like so that I could. If I was going to go out and I wanted to joint, like if I was going to the, the carnival or something, and I wanted to, this is years ago, and I wanted to be able to get high and then go into the carnival, that's what I'd do. I'd roll up yeah. a cigarette like that, and I'd be holding it like as I'm driving there because I've got drugs in my hand. But, you know, I, I'll eat this thing. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just, and, and the only like an inch of it is weed. It's, it's just like mm -hmm. three or four big hits of weed. And I just burn that thing down on uh, like as I'm pulling into where I'm going and flick it out the window like a cigarette butt. It just seems like a real crime. safe. It, it's okay. It's, it seemed like perfect crime, you know. We that's not how we got busted. We'd always pack those up and put them in the cigarette pack before we went out to the bar, so we can like stand out the back in the smokers area and smoke them, and they just look like normal cigarettes. We found like using a chopstick is that like that a chopstick is like the perfect fucking size. You can yeah. pack that shit in there. Like you can get a you can get a surprising amount of fucking weed in there. But the number one thing you have to do is, uh, so you've got the cigarette sitting in there. Just before you smoke it, you bite like the filter and you pull the filter out with your teeth and the whole yeah. filter will come out in one piece. Well, and then you just tear like a little bit of the filter off and then fold it and put it back in. It's like a roach. You fucking thing. know. Man, I'm like, <laughs> Dude, I'm I, every a lot of weight, step man. of what you're doing, I've done. I, like, like, yeah. like I, 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 I came up. I saw I I teach to the listeners. Here. I didn't know anybody <laughs> else ever the listeners. I came yeah. upon that by myself at home trying to get high. Like, like the idea that that's what that you did that too, oh, or that, that maybe that everybody massive. does that. That shit's massive in Australia because they like people will hide them in the cigarette pack and they like we call them stealthies, but I don't know what anyone else calls them. But you just <laughs> sure. like because you open up the pack of cigarettes, it just looks like another fucking cigarette. So mm, you're yeah. like, you're good. You, you can't get caught. Yeah, the oh, full I mean, filter was too much. <laughs> yeah, like, no, like you, you almost couldn't get high. Yeah. Do you, oh, yeah, you don't want like, to smoke weed through a filter like that, right? It doesn't pull through filter. fast enough. You want a yeah. little, yeah. You don't. You're like, you're like, it's yeah. like smoke. You ever have somebody roll one up and it looks like a fucking, I don't know, like some lint or something, like a hair, like like like. If I yeah. see a toothpick joint, I'm I'm so embarrassed for you. I can't roll yeah. one though. I had a rolling machine. That's how no. I would roll them. If I wasn't stuffing cigarettes yeah. like we just described, but um, on the filter and all, I've like done that exact thing. It's so funny. Put like way too much in there. So like, if you if you're just chilling and you're like yeah i'm gonna get high before i go to work or whatever if you put one into the rolling machine and you roll like something like enough weed in there to like make it roll properly you're like 
oh, I'm going to be way too fucking high yeah. at work. So, <laughs> so you end up making these like little greyhounds. We, 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 go, we call them whippets, like the little mini greyhounds. So they're like real like thin little joints. And mm-hmm. you just like smoke those, you know. But I guess uh, it depends on the strength of the weed though, I guess. But like it's very hard to find specific weed in Australia. You can't just like walk oh, out okay. and go, hey, is it illegal there? Just, like, chill. No, it's very illegal. It's not- uh, no, it's not. Oh, it's, it's, it's decriminalized. It's, decriminalized. it's, it's Where, so you, okay. if, unless you have like pounds and pounds, you won't get in trouble. What like about if, medical? I, is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Medical's a thing now. Yeah. yeah. Well, then the weed there's probably like good then, it's right? Getting, like, it's getting medical. better. Well, it's it's more like if you go and buy it from like a dealer, it's like the only shit they will sell is like the highest possible THC content because it's like they want everyone that's smoking it to be like, whoa, that's the dankest shit ever. So you're like, unless you've got like a weed guy that can like be like, yeah, I've got all these different types of weeds. Mostly you just walk in and you get what you're given. And uh, most of the time it is like insanely fucking strong. So it's like, unless you've smoked a lot of it or you're just like chilling. If you want to have like one joint before work, then it's sort of not feasible. (laughs) So you're like, (laughs) unless you're like, I've never had a drug dealer with like options. Really? Throughout all yeah. of college, like they were pretty much all like, "This is what I have now," and it's like, "Okay," yeah. and like you didn't know the difference, so it's like, "Hey, I bought weed. Does it get me high?" Yeah, I smoked it and it got me high, and it's like, "Oh, okay," yeah. like th- that works. Yeah, we, and now, we like, I feel like a pampered little bitch. Like I have plenty of weed to smoke in my house, but like part of me is like, I want to go try a new kind of weed and like <laughs> go to the store and like something else like out. scotch like you would sit there and you'd be like, yeah, like oh yes i had this absolutely great uh macallan 15 year the other day i think i'll break it out on a special occasion but it's just like, <laughs> like i got these little weed. like uh, these <laughs> little know, containers that were Taylor, like, a little how's bit the weed different it, like weed's not just weed like no, no, no like it's, it's like different. it's, it's, it's just higher a quality day. and like yeah so like well, it's when you go to the dispensary, not here, only that, they have it's like completely a little different scale. ratios of cannabinoids. Yeah, it's yeah. much stronger. It has different ratios of cannabinoids, and the options are much clearer. So, like, they'll they'll tell you they'll be like, this one has more of this, so it's going to be an indica. It's going to be relaxing body high. This one's super strong sativa. This one's somewhere in the middle. Whereas when I was buying in college, it was like, hey, uh, DD Jerry, drug dealer Jerry. <laughs> uh, what kind of what do you have and he's like i got weed and i'm like that's what i'm here for and, yeah. that, and that was <laughs> and that was it like and then you went back sure and you you smoked it. and sometimes you'd smoke yeah. it and it would and i didn't know at the time really but i'd hit it and i'd be like this isn't like i guess it was more sativa and i didn't like that as much or i was like yeah, okay. i'm still high but this i don't is like kind it. of oregano <laughs> yeah this yeah. is kind of uh this is kind of this is like a pizza place i'm there <laughs> like, <laughs> i think we, we had now a guy that, that would uh come to our house to to sell us weed so we'd just like call him up and we'd be like because he didn't want to deal out of his house because he didn't want to get caught so he would just deliver to people and so we'd call him up and he'd just like rock up he lived like up the road so he was like on foot yeah. he'd come down he'd just have heaps of buds we used to call him deals on wheels and i can't even remember his fucking name <laughs> deals on like, wheels. He, i had a similar situation it was the kush cab and we would yeah yeah the, uh, uh, it's so nice buying drugs legally just yeah just I, I magnifique bet. Like, like Jesus Christ! No, I, I, uh, I, don't, I don't smoke like when I'm in Australia because it's all that fucking sativa shit, and it's like I just end up fucking getting in the paranoid. But if I go to America, I'm like, I am in the first dispensary I can find. I'm like, give me the fucking like all the indicas, and I'm just like, just like kind oh, yeah. of the vibe. So the whole time I'm, I'm always there. like, give me the strongest indica you have, and then yeah. like I'll go <laughs> home with it and be like, I'm gonna take like five big rips. No. 10 big rips and then like <laughs> yeah. i take one and it's like oh like, okay, maybe, <laughs> where's the maybe closest dispensary bit. to me raleigh i don't what states kentucky. are around you uh, it's kentucky, either kentucky or west virginia i looked this up because um well, i, didn't I was it. to me the closest one is fucking um where did i go all the way illinois. to illinois but the <laughs> second closest one was like peeling off and heading your way and and i I think it's I think it's Zach, can you find a map with which states have legal weed? I'm yeah. curious. Recreational. I, I always find it weird that you guys have like the different states are uh, just like one's oh, like yeah. you will go to jail for 12 years, the other one's mm-hmm. like you can smoke it in the street. <laughs> it's like yeah. weird. Big Our law should be states. more consistent. Yeah, no, I fun. disagree. I, I really like the way it is. I, I think what works for the, the people of Billings, Montana 
um, that doesn't necessarily need to work or should work for the people in Crenshaw. Yeah, yeah hmm. definitely. All right, let me make this full size. Oh, you're good. Virginia, right there. Oh, Virginia. That's not well, too far. Mix. Get on That's up north to Virginia. Motorcycle ride. Yeah, and get in a, in a slower ride home. <laughs> Georgia, and you guys are lagging behind Alabama. Dude, you don't even know. You don't even know. It's 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 so sad. It's so sad. I uh, Land, at I mean, least this... Missouri. Oh oh wait, is Missouri close? Oh Missouri's closer. I bet. I wonder if there's a dispensary like down there in that bottom bitch part of southern Missouri that I could that I could. Some of us have family in that area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are you roughly on the G? Uh, and me yeah Yeah. um i no much more north than that right atlanta um i'm I'm in the city now um Hmm. i would say that's not where atlanta is roughly (laughs) no no it's it's it i mean close i mean you're the ga is in the middle of the state right so how far could it be no matter where But maybe if the g were right on top of the g it'd be there Mm -hmm. a little higher probably two g's really a little to the left Huh. I mean, we could superimpose a map of the fucking. Uh, I mean, show us. <laughs> I don't, it, Zach, we don't have that show kind of us track. Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know where Atlanta <laughs> is. Can you pull up my address, please. I just wanna, <laughs> if, if that's a modern, if that's like a current map, I'm in a, I'm in little five points. Fully illegal. Uh, well, I wish did it, it have Missouri? Because Missouri is really current. Like it's a recent yeah. change. Yeah, so it, it must did. be. Yeah. yeah. So that's only six fully illegal states. Not What's too the pricing bad. Like? Did you say illegal? Yeah, that's what it looked like. There were six orange ones on there, and I think that's what it said. Like, but the light the, green is like only the lowest THC. That's what North Carolina is, and it means you can't buy anything. Yeah, see, see how light high green up there is, it is is medical. Yeah, to the left a little. Mm, no, I it think, was right? there were two shades of. There might have been three shades of green, oh, but yeah, the lightest yeah. one was like not legal. So there's Atlanta. Wow, top left. Where's Atlanta? To my expectations. Now we know. Uh, and the top the, right is hard. Look at that, my, my home. Got a Livonia on the map for some reason. There's Lake Hartwell where Woody does his uh Flippity his, Doos. Uh, gymnastics and and and, mm-hmm. and stuff. Uh, as you're asking gymnastics. about uh the so price you go to in Alabama Kyle. to buy weed. Uh Alabama does not have weed for sale, as far as I know. No. I bet the, I think they got medical. No, I was saying they were lagging behind, meaning that Georgia oh. has stricter laws surrounding it than even Alabama, Mississippi, those other states oh, okay. down there. Yeah, and so it's the, the pricing of it here is like Republicans. they have like premium stuff and then like less premium stuff, I guess. Like I got a quarter of some indica for like, I think it was like $70 around there, 70, $75 for a quarter. And that That's was fine. for like normal. And then like the, some of it, they only sell in eighths obviously to get you to buy more. And so like some of the super strong stuff, they, they, they will only offer in an eighth, and Aren't it's like thirty-eight dollars for an eighth. So the dispensary is it a situation like where? I know I mean, when I went to Illinois, the situation with the dispensaries was that it seemed like there were a couple of big sort of corporate type stores. It's like, oh yeah, this is mm-hmm. there, there are this is Red Leaf dispensaries, and you could no matter where you went, you were still like buying from the same people. Technically, is it like that, or is it mom more uh, mom and pop? There's like pretty much. Ev- I think it's like a law that like. A lot of the weed sold in the dispensaries because of state stuff has to be grown in that state. And so like so many of the things, the same way you go to Colorado and it's like from Colorado, from Colorado mm. or Illinois, from Illinois, from Illinois. Yeah, It'll yeah. be like, this is grown in Missouri. This is this but strain. The, the and, name of the dispensary. Like, are there multiple dispensaries in your town? There are there are multiple different like chains, but wow. there's a couple that are huge. Like uh, there's one called like N Bliss. And it's there's a bunch of locations of that. There's probably more than I saw last time because every time I yeah. go out of the house, there's another fucking. Dispensary. I have questions, Taylor. If you wanted to buy a legal pot right now, could you walk there? No, no, I'd have no. to drive. How long uh, is the drive in minutes? Not too bad. Like there's there's a couple near me, like probably fifteen. Like okay, even that's a bit of a too bad. drive though. Like it's not nothing. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's not like you can probably get gas closer than that. Oh yeah, yeah, I can get gas closer than that. Like a- there's also like. I bet there's one closer than me now because I'm still going to the same one I Googled initially and was like, <laughs> closest <laughs> dispensary. Like, there's probably one like on the other side. Of now I know where that know is. About. I never need to learn again. Yeah. And like, it's funny. I thought that once it was legal, I'd be going in there like, give me this concentrate. Give me this fucking uh, edible. Well, I guess edibles don't count because we have a way stronger fucking sponsor for it. But like, 
all the other stuff, it's like, do you want to try this like disposable pen? Do you want to try this dab rig? Because like they also sell like rigs and glass there as well. And uh, we have a sponsor for those too. And yeah, they're hard to beat. <laughs> they're they're yeah, tremendous. Get, I'm gonna get high shit on the, the attachment, the nail or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, I'm just doing flour. Like, and it's, uh, I think it's probably the cheapest way to do it. On, and you also, remember. you remember? Oh, I remember taking. I've taken. I've taken lots of dab uh, oh, dab right. rips, but. Th- it is just so unnecessary most of the time. Like Dude, you can get it. fucking high as shit with regular weed. You don't need to be like, Hey yeah. Taylor, you know how you're going to get high on that like leaf right there. It's like, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's like, how about this? How about this Jack science into the leaf. Now it's concentrated. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, so it's going to be like smoking the leaf. No, it's going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everything you like about uh, that, that bud, not the same. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, Dude, I love it. Yeah. I, love I always it. find it's, that it's, like uh, you chill. have people that just yeah, keep right. smoking and smoking and smoking. It's like it can only get so high. Yeah, like, you hit a wall. It's not like drinking. You're just, you're just wasting. <laughs> but weed. dabs will bust through the wall. Dabs are. I remember uh, being. I remember wall explaining breakers. to my lawyer what dabs were, and uh, uh, you know, like not like, a very cool lawyer. Well, you <laughs> know, like like I was like I explained to him. I was like, so it's sort of like weeds, like beer, and dabs are like liquor. He's like. Oh, okay. I understand now. Don't ever say that out loud. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Don't repeat that. <laughs> He's like, do not say that in court. <laughs> <laughs> because we're trying to tell them it's the opposite right now. They're like, yeah. sir, it's this therapeutic oil they make from weed. Kyle was rubbing it on his ears. <laughs> 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 you know, we're doing the best we can with what we got. Um, okay. But uh, but I I remember doing dabs with you um in Colorado yeah. and and just. I was in the zone. I, I that's when I was a true marijuana athlete. Okay, <laughs> me, my girlfriend Taylor, and uh, and Chiz, and I, I I went and got the big a big ass like two hundred dollar bong, <laughs> and we're mm. ripping those torch powered dabs in the living room yeah. of that rental house. I, trying and to explain thinking, magic like, rules. So yeah, I can think. Yes, yes. That sounds that way the- better than where I used to buy it. Like I haven't brought it in years, but. We, we used to buy from this guy in this shitty neighborhood and then we went there one day and his house had been raided so we're like fucking it's the doors just like kicked off the fucking hinges Shit. and we're like i guess we can't go there anymore and my i'm in the car with one of my friends and i'm like man where the fuck are we gonna get weed like we want to get high this is this has got to happen like we got to get weed so we we called everyone we knew and we're like fuck there's no one no one we know and my mate has the idea he's like this place is a shitty neighborhood you could just knock on any fucking door and someone's got weed and i'm like man you could do that, like, but I'm going to wait in the car. And this motherfucker just walks up to this random house. It's like this fucking cinder block shithole. And it has a massive 22 painted on the side of it in spray paint, which I assume is their street number. Knocks on the door and this old lady answers. And she's like, yeah, hi, darling. Can I help you? And she and he's like, yeah, I was just, just looking to buy some weed. And she's like, yeah, no worries. Come in. And just sells him <laughs> weed. Like, we never even learned this, this old bitch's name. We called it 22. <laughs> We just gave her. <laughs> like, we, cool we, legit, we just gave her. We gave like tons of our friends her address, and they just like rock up this fucking house for this grandma that no one fucking knew. They just buy weed off her. It was fucking weird, man. That's the perfect, per, the perfect drug deal. Yeah. Low profile, yeah. old lady. Yeah, she'd always she'd always been there. Like, uh, she's retired, and she'd always be like babysitting like fuckloads of kids. Like, she you go in there, and there'd be like twenty kids sitting around the fucking telly just watching. Watching shit, she's just selling weed out of the kitchen. It's just fucking hilarious. Is it one of cool. those things where, like, at the door, you're like, "This is a cool situation," and you walk in, you're like, "Oh, oh." Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, the, the, kids the granny meets weed. you at the foyer. She's like, "Grass or ass?" Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I, I will. I will admit, first. compared compared to the other shit I have seen in that neighborhood before. That was the motherfucking Nirvana for those kids because, like. Like I, I saw some pretty fuck shit in that neighborhood, and it was uh, it was definitely definitely not nice. But like, we like one night we we went to this, this the old dealer's house, the one that got raided. We we roll up there at like ten o'clock at night, so we're like, it's it's Saturday. We don't expect him to be there, but we're like, mm. we're gonna try because we're out, okay? So five of us packed into this car, so we're we're all like cars full. Roll up to the house. I go and knock on the door, and he's not home. And so I'm walking back down the uh down the down to the footpaths of the car. I'm like, I guess no weed. And this is random cunt is walking along the road. He's like, Hey man, are you looking for knife? And I'm like, 
uh, yeah, because it's the name of the drug dealer. <laughs> and he's like, hmm. man, he's up at bloody Bill's house, mate. He's uh, he's fucking having a party up there. And I'm like, oh, yeah, sweet. Uh, where is it? And he's like, oh, I don't remember the address, but I can take you up there and we'll get some weed. I'm like, yeah, right. And he goes, I've just got to get me son first from my mum's house. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what's <laughs> happening here. You get, this hmm. this cunt walks up the road. He gets his son, and he walks back down the road. He's got like this seven year old son walking with him. Okay, he comes back and he lives next door to this Nath bloke. And uh, he's like, oh, "Oh, we won't all fit in the car. I'll just uh, I'll just go up with you fellas, and we'll just grab it." This cunt leaves his son on the side of the road with me and my brother, <laughs> two cunts that he has never met in his entire life. His seven year old son just leaves him there on the side of the road, and he said. Oh, I don't know if I want to let you in because I don't know you. So I don't want you to go into my house. So he was worried about us like stealing his fucking <laughs> PlayStation games or something. But he just left his fucking son there with us <laughs> and just went and got weed and then came back. Terrible fun. Like, you weren't going to steal man. his kid. Yeah, yeah you oh, can't man. get high this, on him. This, yeah, this yeah. kid was fucking busted though. Like we're we're like standing there and I'm like, so what do you talk to about? What do you talk to a seven year old kid about? Like I don't fucking know. I'm like, so how's school, mate? He's like. I don't like school. They call me inbred there. And I'm like, oh, well, shit. I can fucking, I can see that. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm like, what no, do you do when they call you in? What do they call when they it's call you inbred? You yeah. I said, what do you do when they call you inbred? And he goes, this. And then he just winds back and this fucking seven-year-old kid just punches me in the fucking nutsack as hard as he fucking <laughs> can. And I just get folded by this random drug dealer's <laughs> fucking seven-year-old in the middle wow. of the fucking street, man. But did it you was... get your weed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he came back with the weed. Like, that guy was he right. He, he, he got a little nug. He got he got commissioned on his nug enterprise, but like, he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> but it was oh. like, man, Poor little was, kid. <laughs> yeah, that, that kid has no fucking future. Poor slush. Like, yeah. Oh. And no presence, seemingly, yeah. with that uh, <laughs> the horrible father. His life is fucked from the get go. Yeah, he'll be fine. It's prize fighter. Some people are. You just get a shitty roll of the dice. Yeah. Sometimes you're dealing drugs born now. Australian. He's probably leaving his kid with other fucking strangers so he can get drugs. I mean, yeah, he's trying to get rid of that kid. <laughs> That's what's going on. He'd <laughs> be one of those petrol huffers. There's always a bigger fish and there's always a shittier hoe to row, as they say. As they right. say, indeed. Mm. Hoe to row. I haven't heard yeah. that. You don't know that? It's row to hoe. Oh, row to hoe. Yeah, yeah. See, that makes sense now. It's so much more sense. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>